160. He's gone. What's up, guys? Today we're going to do a quick little welding video. We're going to use this, some random piece of square tube I have, and some, what, 3 16 plate, maybe? And what we're going to do is we're going to solve a problem I've been having lately is that this is my boat. This is my boat trailer. And one of the things my boat trailer is missing is a spare tire carrier. And I don't like to weld things to the boat trailer frame. I don't think that's like a, a real good solution. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes right here. And we're going to build a little, a little piece right here. And it's going to lift the tire up so that we don't run into any uh, clearance issues. And we're just going to put a little spare tire carrier right here. And that's a, another new project that's back there. There'll be another video on that shortly. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this spare tire, or maybe that spare tire, and mount it up on the trailer. So it's just a quick little video. We're going to be using bandsaw. We're going to be using our new MIG welder. We're going to get some shit done. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to use our plasma cutter. Cut out a 4x4 inch plate that's going to get bolted to the trailer and a 6x6 inch plate because the uh, bolt pattern is 5x5.5 five five on the uh, trailer tires or 5x5 five five or whatever. So um, we need a 6x6 six six plate to make it fit. And so, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get something that has a straight edge and then just plasma cut the crap out of this. Alright, there we go. We got our two uh, bolt holes for that marked out. We got our five bolt holes for this marked out. Now, I'm obviously not going to use all five holes. We're just going to use two. Um, but I went ahead and marked out all five just in case. I know they're all kind of cattywampus. I don't really care. Probably just going to use like that one and that one or that one and that one just across. And then uh, we're going to get some studs and some lug nuts for them as well. All right, next deal is we got to drill holes in this and get it uh, kind of mocked up on the trailer. So now we just got to drill a couple of holes in the trailer here. There we go. So there we go. Uh, just cut it on 45 degrees with the chop saw. Forgot to film it. Got the uh, MIG welder all set up. Got this thing nice and square in here. And so we're just going to tack it in a couple places real quick and test fit it on the trailer. And then we'll, uh, we'll go to Advanced Auto and pick up some wheel studs for that plate right there. Because um, I want to, to get that drilled before I weld it on just because it's a little easier to do it on the uh, drill press. And that's what it's going to look like. It's going to put the tire right up here. So the bottom of the tire shouldn't be too, too much lower than the uh, trailer here. And definitely not lower than the lowest part of the trailer. And so uh, that'll give us uh, enough clearance away from the boat. We don't have to worry about anything hitting the boat. And kind of uh, enough clearance down uh, to avoid uh, bumps and stuff like that. So I went and got some half inch studs and stuff from the uh, local hardware store. And lug nuts. So that's going to be holding our thing in. And I uh, ground all the zinc off them, and now we're going to weld it on real quick, make sure they can't move. And then we'll just attach that to this, make sure all is good, weld it up, and then uh, give it a coat of rattle lining. Well, there we go. She's fully welded. Um, and now all we really got to do is give this thing a, a good coat of paint. Well, here's our finished product. Now I'm going to go get a wheel and tire and mount it up. And there's our final product. Uh, I know the tire looks like an old piece of shit, but it's actually uh, in pretty decent shape. Holds air. And so, 
there we go so you can see it's nice and out of the way it's not going to catch on stuff coming in and out of driveways but it's not so high up that it's pain in the ass and we got two studs standard lugs same as the ones on the trailer so that way in case i ever need one i got an extra lug nut right there too and all in all pretty fucking happy with this <sighs> thanks for watching guys this whole project took about an hour and a half including a run to the hardware store um, if you like this video please subscribe Check out my other videos, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, at MaxWorks. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Peace.